Hey everybody, it's Connie with Connie's Crafty Corner. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I had a doctor's appointment this morning and everything went well. It's just a three month thing I have to go to because I take medication for ADHD. Um, good news is I weighed exactly the same three months ago as I weighed today, so that makes me feel good because I know I gained weight and then lost it back down over the last three months, but that's not what we're here to talk about. I wanted to, I'm looking around because I got all my stuff scattered. I wanted to share with you guys a couple things I finished and a, a couple projects that I'm working on. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, first thing is, is that um, crochet along I was doing with the Expression Fiber Arts and I will link it in the description. I can't even, I can't pronounce it, but it's the one that was last year, I believe. Yes, it was last year. She started a new one this year, and I downloaded the pattern. It is free on her website, but I haven't been buying any of the yarns. I'm going to use some acrylic yarn. I'm not using the expensive stuff for this next one. Um, but anyway, I finally finished this one. Let me show you. I had, I had to change this stitch, this last row, or last two rows, uh, because I didn't have enough yarn, and she don't have any more on her website, and I was not going to go go through the fiasco of trying to hunt something down or anything like that, but I just changed a little bit, and I'll tell you, I'm gonna go slowly show you. I have not blocked it or anything, but this turned out beautiful. I'm gonna make this again. I'm gonna make it um, out of yarns I've already got or some acrylic yarn or something like that, because I think it's beautiful. But this is basically it. It turned out pretty big. I mean, I'm 5'2", and it's bigger than my wingspan or arm span or whatever you call it, but... This is it. Um, these last, this gray and this burgundy, you guys, if you knew the times I had to take, I hadn't woven in the ends. I'm gonna do that tonight. Let me show you. Uh, all the times I had to take those rows out because I made a dumb mistake. Um, they're not hard. It's just that I would just mess up something and then have to go back and redo it. But I was gonna make sure I got it done perfectly because that's, the person that I am. I mean, I don't make everything perfect, but this would mess up the look of it if I hadn't fixed it. But this last row, um, the last two rows I had to change, and I had to take this out like four or five times just to figure out what I was doing. Um, these are supposed to be much bigger, these little loops here. Um, it was like chain 12 and form a loop and then go back and put 16 double crochets in. But I wasn't even halfway through, and I knew I was not going to have enough yarn. So I had to take it all out, and I changed it to eight chains. And then you connect in the fourth from the starting place to make your loop. And I put ten double crochets. They did, you know, curl up a little bit. I probably could have put eight. But when I block it, I'm going to block these out, so they'll be fine. But I, and my husband has, he never really ever comments on anything I crochet much. But he has talked and talked about this. He just, look at all these ends I've got to weave. But he has just talked and talked about this. He loves it. But I'm so excited to get this finished. So I decided to pull out another really old project. Uh, some of you guys might recognize this. It's one of the, um, I think it's called Moroccan Tile or something like that. It's an Annie's kit. Let me make sure I'm showing you the right side. I think this is it. One of those kits that you can get. And I had stopped at the cream for probably two years. My daughter actually sent me a picture of this um, wanting it, me to make it for her. And I'd already bought the kit and started it. And I've got the whole thing here. Um, I actually got online because they have the patterns on your uh, account to figure out what this row right here was going to be. And it's just a single cro crochet all the way around. But I'm so intimidated by this project. But it's the next big thing that I'm working on because I'm trying to get some of these unfinished objects, whips, whatever that I've started over the years. I'm trying to get through them if I'm still interested in them. If I'm not, I'm just scrapping them, taking it apart, un you know, unraveling, whatever. But um, I'm excited to get this finished. And she said she wants it, so I'm gonna probably give it to her, unless I just love it. It does bow a little bit. I'm hoping I can steam block that. But you know, even seeing the ones that's finished on the website, it looks a little bowed on the inside, but you know, they send you these little skeins of um, the Premier Antipil, and so it's really good to work with. It's, I love the yarn, 
But um, that's the next big project, and I'm um, using a 5.5 tulip hook to work on it. So, another finished object I got is something that my daughter has been asking for forever. And I, it's funny because I ended up making it for one of her best friends. She asked me about probably two or three months ago if I would do this. Her baby's actually due in September, probably in the next couple weeks. And I mean, she's not gonna be able to use this yet because it is a sweater. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. Um, I was so intimidated by this because she had purchased a sweater. I told her I'd do it for nothing if she'd just buy the sweater. Um, and she sent it to me and I have put it off and put it off and put it off because I've been so afraid of it, afraid I'd mess up her sweater. But it's for her little daughter, her name is Brogan. And this is the sweater. What intimidating to see the B-R-O-G-A-N. I hope y'all can tell that's what it says. Y'all may be seeing it backwards, but I don't know. It's, you know, that big trend that went around a year or so ago where you hand embroider the name on a sweater. And what scared me so bad is I was afraid I was going to get it crooked um, and not, you know, not be able to draw it out. Because you have to freehand it pretty much unless you get a white or a light colored sweater. And this definitely wasn't. Uh, is it perfect? No, I wish I could have done the G a little better. It kind of looks wonky right here, but I think it's good. I mean, you know, uh, my daughter loved it. I sent her a picture and she immediately said, now you have to do Rowan and the new baby one. So I went ahead and ordered those sweaters today and I'm going to do them for, but I'm excited. I did use Red Heart Super Saver. And if you guys know, some Super Saver's soft and some's not. And this wasn't, it's not the roughest I've ever felt, but pulling it through that sweater, you could feel that it wasn't as smooth as I wished. I wish I'd have used something like a big twist or um, that Hobby Lobby I love this yarn because it is a little smoother, or even a Premier. I could have used a Premier. I think I may have had one that would have worked, but this ended up turning out good. I just like that color with it. So this is another finished object that I'm so glad I've got finished. I'm actually gonna mail it to her today. Um, and the pen I used, you know, some people, if you sew or you have to mark things, sometimes you'll get a marker that you write on something with and it's supposed to wash away, which is fine. But then if heat hits it, it'll sometimes come back. So I saw a lot of tutorials on how to do this. Cause like I say, I was scared to death to do it. And this one was, um, recommended with every video I saw. And it may be one of those things that they get sent free ones or whatever and everybody just loves it, but it really worked well. Um, I just soaked the uh, sweater in cold water for about five minutes and then I let it air dry, but I threw it in a dryer to see if the blue would come back and it didn't. <clears throat> but I got this off Amazon and I'll link it down below. And I did, you know, I was gonna take it to the baby shower I went to a couple weeks ago, but, um, the pen didn't come in till like the day before, and I just didn't get the nerve up to do it. It took me about two hours to do it. I think if I hadn't been so nervous and been doing it for somebody else, it wouldn't have been so hard. And I had a hard time figuring out how to do the, what path to follow to do the letters. Cause you know, I don't guess you, anyway, it got done and I love it. So I'm happy to have that done. The other thing I'm working on, y'all, I told y'all in my last video, I think it was or the video before, I had lost my crojo, y'all. I have got a horrible problem now with starditis. I want to start everything. Um, so it's definitely coming back. But many moons ago, I bought this yarn uh, from a yarn store. It's um, like an organic um, merino wool. I, I don't remember. And I've got the labels put in another room, but I've showed them in a lot, an old video. And I bought the yarn in Colorado. But um, I bought these, this yarn in these four colors and a cream. And I had made a zigzag blanket for my grandson and run out of the last color. And it was going to be like several rows short of the um, rest of them. And I, you know, me being who I am, I had to figure out something else to do. So I decided to do the circle in a, a granny or whatever they call it, circle in a square um, pattern. Now, this light green color, it's like a celery, I think's the name of it. It is a little thicker, even though it states it's all sport weight wool, but when I stretch it out, it, you know, I can make it work, but it is thicker than the rest of it. I don't know if you can tell. I love how this stuff crochets up. It is amazing yarn. 
Um, so I um, got most of them done of the these these two color combinations, but I've got to do the opposite. Like I've got circles in this color, and I'm doing the outside in that color, and the same with this. And here's one of them. Now the reason they're sitting here like this is, of course, I did the last row incorrectly. I did it instead of doing two doubles and one double. I did two double, two double, one double in each stitch. Why I read it that way, I have no idea. And I did every one of these that way. Let me think how many I had, 11, 12, 44 squares. So I had to take the last row out of every single one of them and redo them. But I've already done the corrections on these last two circles. So all I gotta do is just go back and do the last two rows. And then I gotta figure out, I've got a cream and the same kind of yarn that I've gotta figure out how I'm gonna join it all together. And it's not gonna be a really big blanket. I'm probably not, well, I do have lots of leftovers, right? Um, I may make some more squares to make it bigger. I don't really know how I'm gonna finish this out because I know I'm not gonna have enough yarn to do a, like a afghan I'd use on my couch because I am gonna keep it because I, I know that Sarah does not want to use this type of blanket with her babies, and I understand that. She don't want the little holes and all that stuff. So I've decided I'm just gonna keep it for myself. And if I can't get it big enough, I may order from that website where I got the yarn some more. It may be different colors. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I do wanna get the squares finished. And then I wanna put some of the cream around each one of these and lay it out and figure out how I'm gonna finish it. Um, but, also, I want to show you, I bought this book, it's been a while, when Lala Mama Kayla talked about it, Sophie's Universe, and since I finished that mandala blanket, this one over here, and I'm starting to work on this Annie's, I want another big project in the wings waiting after I finish this, which I, I hope to have this finished before the end of September. Uh, I'm going on that cruise with my two sisters and uncle, in October, and I'd love to have it finished before then. But I want to make this. I bought this book. It's been, I guess she talked about a year or so ago. I was very intimidated by it because, you know, I don't know if you know, but when you have ADHD, reading things, and that's why I mess up so much. And I, even though I take medication, I still do this. Um, it's helped me tremendously, trust me. It's changed my life, but Still reading directions and reading patterns, I've gotten much better, but I still have issues with it. And this is a book of one pattern. So it, it's gonna be challenging and I'm not gonna set a deadline to finish it, but I do wanna get it started. So I'm gonna look and check and see when Hobby Lobby sells on or look through my stash and see what I've got to see if I've got colors. You know, I love the color that's on the front, but I'm thinking to, of doing more of a 70s vibe type color. You know, the oranges, the browns, the rust, the cream. But then again, I may just do these colors. Who knows? Because that may be too much thinking that will be involved. But that's all I've got going on right now. I just wanted to pop in and do a video. I can't believe I'm doing one two weeks in a row. Um, and I hope to be back soon to show you some more stuff. I may have mentioned this already. Oh, oh, also, and I hope you guys have stayed to hear this because it's kind of funny. A few videos ago, I talked about my grandson's birthday and I told you guys it was on the 24th and then I corrected myself, said it was the 22nd. Can y'all believe I told y'all wrong? His birthday was September the 24th and he was born the 22nd. And I know for a fact he was born the day before my birthday because I told Sarah how dare she, she could have waited another day to have him. And my niece, my she's really my second cousin, she had her son on my birthday, which was good. But I needed to put that out there in the world um, that I did say his birthday wrong. And also, I told you guys in the last video that I made Rowan an outfit for his second birth, no, for Sarah's baby shower. Y'all, his second birthday hadn't even got here, and I'm telling y'all, I made it for his second birthday. And I'd already given it to her, and he wore it at the shower. But I do have a picture that I'm going to post at the end to show you guys him wearing it. It's not the greatest picture, but you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like. But anyway, I hope everybody's having an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.